So this video is about Carlos Castaneda. Carlos Castaneda is an author of a number of books, um, uh, starting with The Teachings of Don Juan. And I first started reading Carlos Castaneda a little over 20 years ago, um, at the very beginning of my spiritual explorations. And his books and teachings um, really uh, launched me into the spiritual realms of uh, seeking out alternate views on reality. I remember reading uh, one of his books, I guess maybe it was his first one, it was around the, the time I first started reading him, sitting on a bus, totally immersed in his, in his book, and I just started to feel like I was totally on a drug trip just in the course of reading, uh, reading his books. They're, they're that powerful that they really take you into altered states of consciousness just in the course of, uh, of reading his stories and experiences. So Carlos Castaneda was a um, man who lived in Southern California and he journeyed into Mexico to meet with a Yaqui uh, Indian, um, Native American uh, sorcerer as part of a, um, a project. I'm not sure if it was a, sc a school project or, or what, but it was basically just to study, you know, to, to, to learn some of their teachings for the sake of a um, exam or an essay or, or something like that, but it was a studious, uh, so he thought, um, he was starting off on a uh, journalistic um, journey to learn these, uh, uh, you know, what these guys were, were teaching. And in the process, he ended up becoming a student of Don Juan and doing a lot more than just uh, studying, you know, and uh, learning the uh, you know, beliefs and everything from a journalistic perspective, but he uh, leaped fully into becoming an apprentice to the sorcerer Don Juan. And it involves um, using peyote to a great extent, which I've never done peyote myself. I've done other hallucinogenics, mushrooms, acids, smoking marijuana, that have certainly propelled me into some extremely altered and uh, uh, both terrifying and blissful states of being but nothing quite like he describes. So there's a whole uh, bunch of books, I'm not sure how many, 10 or 12 or, or so. Um, I've read uh, almost all of them. There was one, The Art of Dreaming, that I was somewhere in the middle of it and I just had to put it down and just walk away. It was that out there that I was just starting to get, you know, it was just too much. I'd read almost all of his books up until that point, been through, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff with him, but this one was just too much. Um, uh, and there might be another book that I haven't read, but uh, read almost all of them. It's been a long time since I've read any of them. Um, but uh, there are a lot of different beliefs in them. I certainly could not um, begin to, uh, you know, encapsulate what is portrayed in them in the course of a few minutes in a video. I certainly highly recommend taking a look at them, at least reading one or two. Um, and you will learn a lot about um, the, the world beyond the veil, about um, spirits and entities that exist, you know, beyond our physical realm, um, different ways of perceiving the world, uh, forces of energy, malevolent and benevolent, um, that we are coming in contact with, whether we, are, we realize it or not, um, especially in our dreams about um, manipulating our dreaming, conscious dreaming. Um, there's, there's a lot to them. So there's another book, um, not by Carlos Castaneda. It's by a woman named Marilyn Tenush Tenushend. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. But uh, it's about a woman who studies with the same teacher, Don Juan, but it's later on. And uh, the book is the, uh, the Art of Sexual Ecstasy, I think, or The Art of, the Art of Sexual Energy. And it's very fascinating, especially after having read a bunch of the Carlos Castaneda books, because there's a character in her book um, titled or named uh, Carlo Castillo. And I didn't get it while I was reading through the book. And finally, towards the end or maybe afterwards, I realized, wait, that must be Carlos Castaneda. So Carlos Castaneda makes an appearance in, uh, in her book. Uh, but this is after he has been basically sort of kicked out of the um, the realm of teaching because he kind of went astray and uh, I guess Carlos Castaneda died of cancer 
in 1998 and his last years he was in a very bad uh, place of struggling against cancer had apparently really really lost his way um, uh, was not uh, in a balanced state um, so it's quite interesting to read this other book especially from a wom woman's perspective uh, on Don Juan and then some of the other characters that also make appearances in the uh, Carlos Castaneda books and to get a little little different uh, you know perspective there um, so that's just kind of a general little general take on uh, Carlos Castaneda I definitely recommend them um, they will alter your mind if you just allow yourselves to get yourself to get uh, really immer immersed in them and allow your mind to be carried away by these experiences that he describes in the course of his uh, peyote um, journeys and who knows if it's you know completely real or if he's made some of it up or um, exaggerated you know there's no way to know but uh, regardless if he made it up he has one hell of an imagination and he's a great writer uh, in my opinion for describing these realms it seems like it would be easier just to have experienced this and then write about it than to try to make it up because it's so outlandish and so out there um, what he what he goes through and what he sees um, and uh, um, you know the vision of reality beyond this physical realm that we that we see um, but it certainly challenges your mind and gives you some something something to think about in terms of what's really out there you know we see this physical realm around us and it's easy to get fooled into thinking that's this is the world this is all there is um, but uh, many 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 people describe and call this Castaneda as one that there is another realm beyond this this world so um, reading his, his books is one way to uh, tap into that and get a alternate perspective on reality take care namaste